Other than that, look, man, we got a voicemail call here because I was talking some trash about Dak Prescott and, you know, it wasn't sitting right with everybody who heard it. So I got the voicemail here. Um, he had to go ahead and say something, get it off his chest regarding my comments toward Dak Prescott being a top five quarterback. Here it is. Let's hear what he had to say. Uh, what's going on, man? This is, this, is, this is JB. I've been on your show before. Mr. D. I'm not going to take too much of your time, but I wanted to chime in on the, uh, the Dak Prescott elite conversation you were having. Mm. My humble opinion, Dak Prescott, as well as the Dallas Cowboys organization, are overrated um, in the past. Seven to eight years, Dak is, has a two and five playoff record. So I know you had mentioned that he has more touchdowns, more yards, better completion percentage, less interceptions than than quarter quarterbacks such as Jared Goff, Patrick Mahomes, Brock Purdy, Jordan Love. But he doesn't have the playoff success that those guys have. I I look at I look at his playoff resume. I see a lot of one touchdown performances. He's never he's never gotten pa- gotten past the divisional round. So that's why I feel like Dak Prescott is overrated. At the end of the day, it falls on the quarterback to help push and propel your team to the playoffs. You should get better as the playoffs come around. Your 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 stats shouldn't shrink once you get to the playoffs. Yeah, that that was my time. Thank you for having me. Okay, so you know what? Facts. I'm just speaking facts on here, JB. I appreciate that. Okay, so look, man, here's how I'm going to address that because it was a lot of facts about the playoff performances. That's usually where we always give Dak a lot of hell from his playoff performances. As you just mentioned, they've been shit. He has not been able to win <laughs> in the playoffs. The Cowboys haven't had a playoff win in years, I think maybe even a decade or so, um, but they've been bad for some time every time they show up in the playoffs. However, the only thing I can mention in that conversation of what he does in the postseason I don't think it's all on him I I think it's part of the team and you look at last year's game when him and CeeDee Lamb was just not on the same page they did not get it cooking together and you can't fully blame Dak for that you can't fully blame CeeDee Lamb because it was just clear that guys just weren't on the same page people were running the wrong routes um, outside of CeeDee Lamb but Obviously, it's harder for Dak to target those guys and get the ball where it needs to be if, you know, people are running the wrong routes and the game is just not flowing on all cylinders for everyone else. It'd be different if Dak was missing wide open throws or he was just overthrowing these wide open touchdown balls. That would be different. Then I wouldn't have anything to say. And while that may have happened on a play or two, that's not usually the case or that wasn't the case throughout the game that we've seen. And especially in these playoff performances, that definitely wasn't the case. It's usually always an additional factor to that playing bad, whether it's guys dropping passes, running the wrong routes, the O-line not being there, or the defense giving up more points than what the offense can produce. So I, I 100% agree. Hey, playoff wins is important. You need those. Um, I mean, you shouldn't be considered a great quarterback if you're not winning. But also, I disagree with that logic all the time because – then that we kind of fall into a slippery slope of is Aaron Rodgers a GOAT because he's only had one uh, Super Bowl win and Tom Brady has seven Super Bowl wins. Like, you know, then we kind of get into that debate because even though Aaron Rodgers hasn't been winning as much as Tom Brady, he damn sure has just enough skill. So I can't help but to think about that when I'm saying, all right, well, this guy doesn't have the playoff wins behind it. He's not winning in the postseason to really help his team. It's hard to go down that slippery slope. But again, I I understand what you mean to your point of you got to win as a quarterback. And and no way in hell will I ever put him over Pat Mahomes or if I had to start a franchise, I'm not taking him over Joe Burrow and a lot of other guys in the league maybe from how I would want to run my offense. But based on last season and the production that he's been having over the course of the past maybe three to four years, Dak has... I mean, skill-wise, he's up there in the top five based on last season and coming into this upcoming NFL season. I still stand on it. I still stand on it that he's going to be hes a top five quarterback. So, I mean, no, that, that's, that's just my thoughts. But that was a great perspective, JB. I, of course, appreciate you calling. Anybody heard this and they're like, you know what? I want to chime in on is Dak a top five quarterback and who else is a top five quarterback? Go ahead. Shoot us a quick take. 219-413-9405. Go ahead, call us, and then, of course, we'll play your take back on our next episode. Um, but anyway, look, man, we got some stuff coming up. Got a side note about some Netflix show called Receiver. Um, and then also, too, San Francisco 49ers Brandon Ayuk, he 
has requested a trade from the San Francisco 49ers. So we'll touch on that in just a second. Don't go anywhere. It's halftime. We'll be right back.